Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Do you frequently have issues in consuming a proper meal? Have you ever doubted the explanation? It's most likely in light of the fact that you're consuming foods in a combination that's not healthy for your body. This messes up the process of digestion. You most likely have a gas problem, acid reflux, and a very upset stomach. As though that was not bad enough, you're not getting the full advantages of appropriate nourishment due to poor digestion. Indeed, even a kid realizes that eating beans and soft drinks together can bring upsetting outcomes. In any case, there are various other food mixes that can upset your digestion process, making you ultimately seriously sick. In this video, we'll investigate 10 food combinations that you should avoid in order to stay healthy and fit. Number 10. Tomatoes and Cucumbers This is an exceptionally main combination for late spring serving. Be that as it may, the most recent investigation shows that joining these two prominent vegetables can upset the metabolic passageways of your body. This can prompt extreme calcination as well as swelling, and the nutrients found in these two common vegetables won't be processed properly by our digestive system. It's better to eat tomatoes and cucumbers separately. For instance, today you can make a serving of mixed greens with tomatoes, and tomorrow a plate of mixed greens with cucumbers. Number 9. Tomatoes in Pasta Who knew this famous dish for many individuals was bad for the body? No pasta is finished without tomatoes, cheddar sauce, or meat. Pasta is loaded in starchy carbs and hard to digest. The tomatoes, which are profoundly acidic, cause obstacles in the appropriate digestion of starch and cause bloating. The acid in tomatoes weakens the catalyst in starchy pasta, coagulates the dairy and cheddar. Meat and carbs are additionally another terrible blend that makes this meal hard to digest. So attempt to stick to pesto sauce to maintain a strategic distance from after meal fatigue. Dr. Wayne Pickering, the well-known nutritionist, clarifies that what usually happens when this bad combination is picked, quote, starches need an antacid stomach-related medium to process. On the off chance that you put your fist in your stomach while it's processing steaks and everything else, odds are you won't have a hand any longer. The acid is exceptionally strong. When you combine them both, an acidic sort of nourishment and an alkaline, Fundamental science shows that they don't process, they kill. At that point, what usually happens? If the meal isn't processing, it's going through your body undigested, propelling it into all kinds of disorder." End quote. Number 8. Banana and Milk Who doesn't like a banana shake? This combination has been very famous among supporters of a healthy way of life, since it's quick and very easy to prepare. A few nutritionists accept the natural products, particularly sweet ones, ought to be consumed independently. They remain inside the body for a longer period of time, hindering the process of digestion, particularly when eaten with different items. It's progressively beneficial to drink milk separately. As we all know, fruits can be immediately processed by our digestive system. However, milk can't. That implies a great deal of additional acidity in your stomach. Try not to consume this unhealthy combination. However, if you can't avoid a milkshake, include a touch of nutmeg or cinnamon to stimulate the course of digestion. Number 7. Yogurt with Fruit A standard breakfast meal and something every one of us eats without even blinking an eye. This is also not a suitable and healthy food combination, as when the high protein-rich yogurt interacts with acidic organic product, it results in reducing fiber content of the stomach, produces poisons, and prompting to serious health issues. Yogurt contains a lot of microbes, which will react with the sugar already present in fruits. According to Ayurveda nutritional standards, blending sour natural products with yogurt can upset digestion and cause nasal blockage, coughs, and hypersensitivities. You can improve the sweetness of the sour fruit by including a teaspoon of nectar, and furthermore, include a few raisins if you simply can't abandon yogurt. Number 6. Potatoes and Meat Who can't order steak with fries? It's a classic! There are a ton of us who like to eat steak with potatoes, mashed or grilled or otherwise. It's just so yummy. 
Tragically, this is unhealthy and heavy for your body to digest. The starch found in potatoes requires alkalotic stomach-related fluids, and the proteins from meat require acidic ones. When consumed together, they simply stall out inside your stomach and can bring such digestive disorders like acid reflux, burping, gas, and numerous others. The absence of fiber can mess up digestion. If you cannot avoid steak, here's a simple tip for you. As a side dish to meat, pick non-starchy vegetables. Asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, green beans, or zucchini. Number 5. Fruits after meal. Bunches of individuals finish their dinner by having a bit of fruit as a dessert. One of the most noticeably awful food combinations that anyone can make is eating fruits after a feast. Food and fruit together? Mm -mm, no way. It's a heavy combination. The issue here is that regularly fruits have excess water in them, so they can easily digest. However, whenever taken on a heavy dinner like pasta and meat, at that point it will remain very long in the stomach which can lead to fermentation processes and cause serious damage to the digestive tract. Fermentation essentially implies bacterial activity on food bringing about its breakdown, as well as the loss of essential nutrients in the fruit. That's the reason it's perfect to have fruits between two meals. Quote, eat melon alone or ignore it, or your stomach will groan. End quote. Dr. Mercola, a famous nutritionist. The specialists state that ham and melon would be a suicide for your stomach. Yet, take a dare at advising that to the Italians who love that blend. Number 4. Pizza and Soda We're all aware of the threats and health dangers of eating junk food, yet despite everything, stuff our tummy with inappropriate things. We all think we know the dangers. However, do you truly realize what to avoid? Another combination that most restaurants usually offer to its clients, pizza with soda is a terrible decision combination undoubtedly. Various sorts of foods require diverse stomach environments to get digested. This implies they ought to be eaten separately. The mix of carbs, protein, and starch takes up a ton of your body's energy in order to digest it properly. In addition, the sugar in your soft drink hinders the process of food digestion. This leads to swelling of the stomach as well as heaviness. Moreover, the sugar can't get to your digestion tracts where it ought to be broken down due to a full stomach. High sugar drinks shouldn't be taken an hour after eating the meal. Number 3. Cereal and Juice Some of us prefer to begin our mornings with something that gives us energy. The blend of juice with cereal won't give you an excess amount of energy to begin your day and may leave you with inconvenience, causing stomach heaviness. The acids in orange juice disturb the enzyme that will break down carbohydrates. Orange juice is the most noticeably harmful, Dr. Joffer states. One glass of milk contains 18 grams of fructose, which is the normal, terrible sort of sugar. Quote, fructose crushes the protein that's capable of digestion, end quote. Try to have the juice before taking cereal. And with all of that out of the way, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. As for now, don't forget to comment and tell us what do you think about the image. Number 2. Subscriber Pick a cake just like the snake. Seems terrible, but this picture is of a snake cake. It looks so real like a python, right? This birthday celebration must be a blast. Birthday cake for her little girl by her mother, Francesca Pitcher from North. She says she doesn't sell snakes in real life. Her six-year-old daughter just loves reptiles. She applied a unique color to shade the skin and duplicate its particular markings. She told the Daily Mail, we were at the zoo, and I asked her what cake she wanted for her birthday, and recommended a snake, which I promptly regretted in light of the fact that I have a genuine fear. She wants me to make something different so she could scare her friends. From the start, I was unable to try and take a look at the pictures of them on the web, yet as I continued examining them, I understood they weren't so awful and had very excellent patterns. When I got over my fear, I simply split on with it, in spite of the fact that before I put the skin on, it looked extremely unpleasant. After I made the cake, I needed to keep him in a case and lock it. I just couldn't take a look at him. 
Her friends liked the cake very much. It was something unique for them. Sadly, she has done such an astounding job making the snake genuine that this would be one cake I would be unable to digest. I'm just not a fan of snakes. 100 times no to this red velvet cake. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Pasta Sauce and Cheese A different plus heavy combo for our stomach to digest. The acid in the sauce will be digested by the stomach, whereas the small intestine would dissolve the starch. So our body has to invest an excessive amount of energy and time in order to digest it. So they don't get digested in time, and thus lead to some terrible health issues. That's the end of our list of 10 bad food combinations. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest video updates. We'd love to hear your feedback. What do you think of these combos? Is there anything you want to share with us? Feel free to mention anything that you know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.